Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Steve White, Battalion Chief with the Fishers Fire Department. In this scenario, we're going to utilize cribbing, struts, and airbags to free a car that is trapped underneath the trailer known as a side underride. What we have is a lifting operation where we have cribbing towers set on the frame rails with high pressure lifting bags. As we lift with the bags, we'll also be cribbing off of the ICC bumper, which is not damaged and stable, as well as being welded directly to the frame. Forward next to the vehicle, we have struts that are in place that will also help share the load as we raise the back end of the trailer to gain space to extricate and free victims that are trapped in the front of the car. Up on blue, up on red. As you can see, as the trailer raises, we're capturing the weight on the bumper with wedges, so we always have firm points of contact. As the box cribbing is being tightened, we're also adjusting the struts to ensure that we're capturing the load. Freeze. Okay, at this point, we've maximized the lifting capability of our airbags. We're gonna capture the load with our box cribbing, ensure that our struts are tight, let the air out of the bags, build up our airbags on the box cribbing and restart the lifting operation. Down on red, down on blue. You'll notice every time we're working in or around a heavy load, we're always only on one knee. This allows the rescuer to escape quickly out of the area in the event of an untimely shift or failure of the bag. Blue is free. Red It's important to point out that we have three pieces of cribbing per row so that the point of contact or the center of the bag is always going to have positive contact which will be the center piece of cribbing. Rescuers should always practice good techniques by never putting their hands between the box cribbing and the actual load. Now we've reset our airbags. Again, we want to point out that the same action that we see on this side of the truck is also happening on the other side. So we're running two bags, one on each frame rail. That is why we have a red line going to one bag and a blue line going to the other bag. In addition, we also have another strut on the back side of the trailer. Up on red, up on blue. As we do the lifting operation, it's critical to have more than one safety officer on either side of the object that you're lifting to ensure that there's any untimely load shifts. Stop on red and blue. 
Tighten cribbing. Lock struts. Now that the lifting operation is complete, we've stabilized the back of the trailer with the box cribbing at the back bumper. We've locked and supported our struts that are still in place. That has allowed us to achieve 12 to 16 inches of more room to do extrication, especially if we have to manipulate the dash from a lower leg entrapment. Another key item to point out is that we still had the other end of this very lar large object known as the trailer. We had the dolly wheels. The dolly wheels are in a down position. However, if they're damaged from the accident, then we have to supplement with more box cripping or struts. If you want to gain space, we can box crib up to the dollies and then crank them down. That allows the whole unit to be stable while we work under it to do extrication, packaging, and removing of the victim. I'm Steve White. Thanks for watching this segment of Training Minutes, and we want to thank Holmatro for sponsoring them.